Hey everyone, so today we're going to be going over part 3 of the vector basics. So in part 1 we looked at basic vectors, these are just positive vectors and I explained how they work. In part 2 we worked with negative vectors, so what it means to go the opposite way of a vector. And then in part 3 of this video we're going to be using a combination of positive and negative vectors. Again, if you have any questions throughout the video, drop them down below, I'll do my best to get back to you there. And if you want to check out part 1 or 2, I will leave them linked down below. So question number one we have xz now if you've seen the other videos you could probably give this a go if you want to pause it and give it a go so for question one xz there's actually two routes you can take i've chosen this highlighted route as you can see the a is going the opposite direction to which we want to go so w to x is a we want to go the opposite way so we're going to be using a negative a and then to get from w to z we're going to be using a positive b so we're just following that b vector in the way it's meant to go so our final answer is going to be negative a plus b and again the vector vectors are often written in bold or underlined. So question number two, we have zx. Now you can take a different route if you want. This is the route I'm choosing to take. So similar technique to before, we want to go from z to y and then y to x. Well, we're just going to have a positive c vector and then a negative d vector. And that's pretty much it. I do go into a bit more detail into the why and how and the background on my previous videos if you want to check them out. But again, I hope this helped. Any questions, leave them down below. Best luck with your mouse and thanks for watching.